bury the lead here. The first and I think very obvious observation that one could make is the look of disdain written on the face of Heather Monroe. What, what, is, what is Rachel Rose doing out here? Yeah, that's a great question. What the hell is Rachel Rose doing out here? Rachel Rose cheering on Heather Monroe here. Is she? Rachel Rose made her in-ring return earlier here this afternoon, but uh, she's not scheduled for action. Oh, she's taking a fan's chair right now. Well, a loyal subject just handed Rachel Rose a front row seat to watch this match. I don't know what her business is out here. Seems shady. Just saying. Well, this much I agree with. And now a member of the staff is handing Rachel Rowe the Hurricane Pro Championship. Well, now that we've gotten all the arbitrary things out of the way, this is a compelling matchup. Heather Monroe has walked the path in many respects that Roxy has been walking for the last year now. And that is coming out of nowhere as a young talent, developing herself, traveling up and down the road across the continental United States, building a very respectable brand for herself. Roxy now doing the same thing. Like trains passing in the night, two incredible talents. It is indeed, it's like mirror images. Um, I would have to say that Roxy is still a little bit more humble, a little bit more Mm -mm, nice, as it were. Not saying that Heather is, I think. you know, rude, but, you know, Roxy has a little bit more integrity, I'd say, still at this point in her championship ring. I would say that Heather is a much bigger fan of her own work than Roxy is of her. <laughs> is that being diplomatic enough for you? I think, I think so, yeah. I, I still think we're calling it down the middle. Chain wrestling here in the opening moments as both Heather Monroe and Roxy feeling each other out here. Wrist control now from Roxy. As you stated earlier here this afternoon, they don't call her the prodigy for nothing, Brittany. She has established herself as a true contender. Heather playing a little mind games with her, it seems, as she's trying to assert that dominance. I feel like she might be overcompensating because I feel like she misjudged Roxy as a formidable opponent. what Roxy at 18 years of age is capable of inside a squared circle. I, I couldn't possibly explain to you what the hell I was doing with my life at 18, but it pales in comparison to the accomplishments we have seen from this young lady in the last 12 months. I agree 100%. I mean, look at that. Just knows how to get around an opponent for move for move. there, but as she should. Oh! That's the spark! That's the spark! 
from the D squared champion herself. If you want to go tit for tat, you're going to get what you, what you deserve. Roxy now walking that tightrope. Prodigy head scissors are going to come on over the top. Heather Monroe's got to find her sea legs and quick. There is no Dramamine at ringside. Back elbow from the Prodigy. Heather is not in a good space right now. Roxy treating Heather Monroe like her own personal wrestling buddy. Cover here. Kick out at one, but Heather Monroe needs to slip out the back door and grab some fresh air because Roxy is pouring on a cavalcade of offense and right now. Look at this, Roxy not wasting any time. She's going to go after her. She doesn't care if it's in the ring, out of the ring, in the back, wherever. We're gonna need to get some barbecue sauce for those chops. Oh! I mean, I hope she has health insurance because when Roxy's done with that face. I'm telling you, when Roxy comes through the curtain, you can't tell, you can't see it. But this young lady has a mean streak in. She indeed does. It's like that slap. One, two, kick out. It just flipped a switch. It's like Jekyll and Hyde. Heather Monroe, desperation, short arm clothesline, and then admires her work. One, and that kick out there at one is the direct result of Heather Monroe admiring her own work and not going for the pinfall. Indeed, that can hurt you a lot of times in the ring. You gotta be quick and pounce on that opponent. Oh! All right, so we're out of barbecue sauce. That is a dry rub right there, Texas style. That will leave a mark, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! And to add insult to injury. Well, we are seeing both athletes right now broadside each other with some impressive offense. A kick out there from Roxy, who grabs the small of her back, favors her sternum right now. She is taking some serious damage from Heather Monroe. I will say, as much as Roxy is a spitfire and a firecracker and has that switch to flip, Heather is a champion for a reason. Roxy is a champion as well, although she is much younger in that string of title defenses than Heather Monroe has been. And Heather Monroe has a lot more time up and down the road here, but perhaps Roxy can prove once again here tonight why she is called the prodigy. This is a seesaw war between these two. You know, and maybe this match would have ended already in Roxy's favor, but maybe because Rachel Rose is out here as Heather's cheerleader, maybe that's keeping her going. Come on, Roxy. You want to Monroe looking for a pile driver here on the ring apron. Wood and steel. Await the loser of this exchange. It's the hardest part of the ring, I'm told. Uh, I, you know what, I've, I've heard that. Oh. Successive boosts to the head. Both of these athletes right now are just pressing the self-destruct button. I, I mean, this is intense. This is so intense. And again, this is not the first time they've wrestled today. 
And I don't blame Roxy for taking a moment. She needs to breathe too. You don't have to look closely to see the bruises painted on both Roxy and Heather Monroe, the vestiges of war on display as we get to a nine count and both back in the ring with a split second to spare in what has emerged into a pier six brawl here at Ladies Night Out Nine. This is incredible. This is main event status with these two. I, I'm baffled. I think not even she realized existed. That primal scream, she is pulling everything out of her body to get through this match right now. Roxy, Russian leg sweep straight to Moscow, two, no, kicked out at two and a half. Wow. This is ultra marathon Olympic style athleticism from two finely tuned female athletes who should be damn proud of the effort they're putting in here tonight. Roxy downstairs. Roxy upstairs. The house collapses. Will it be enough? No! No! A near fall of near falls, but this match continues. And Roxy. How Heather is still kicking out is beyond me. It, it's And beyond Roxy, who looks visibly yes. frustrated right now, and for good reason. Indeed. Monroe now trying to finish the prodigy. There is nothing but fumes in the gas tank at this point, and somehow Roxy is still kicking out. Crowd still behind Roxy. Well, this is a home game in many respects for the girl from the Valley. But the Valley girl looking to close the door here too. That code breaker doesn't crack the code, only two and a half. Now Heather Monroe here. Driver center of the ring there, Michinoku style, and Roxy kicks out of the move How? and gave Heather Monroe the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. How? How? It... No one can believe it. More so than Heather Monroe herself. Uncanny effort from both. Come on, and now Rachel Rose. What are we Rose. doing? You can't do that. You can't. Rachel Rose serving up that gold on a silver platter. Oh! Heather Monroe, with an assist from Rachel Rose, decides to take the easy way out. And no pun intended, belts Roxy across the face with that Hurricane Pro Championship. One has to get the sense that Heather Monroe knew that she couldn't cross the finish line one-on-one -on -one against Roxy. Indeed, it, that was an act of desperation. That was an act of saving face there. Roxy did not deserve that as this match was going to end probably with Heather Monroe being pinned, let's be real.
Well, we hope to see a return contest between Roxy and Heather Monroe. Once again, it'll be interesting to see whether or not Heather Monroe will agree to that contest, considering the performance we saw here tonight from the prodigy, Roxy.